I'm a biochemist, which means I try to understand the molecular basis of biological phenomena. And uh, like a lot of scientists, when I go home at night, I do more science because that's what I love to do. And since I was a kid, I've seen trilobites in museums stuck there in rocks. And all I wanted to do was just reach into the rock and flip it over and look at what they looked like underneath. And it turns out there's some science there, too, figuring out what a half-billion-year-old organism looked like. So the same way that we know that many dinosaurs had feathers, paleontologists have reconstructed what trilobites look like, too, from fossil evidence. So I put the kid and the science scientist in me to work and made one. Making these reconstructions is a combination of hyper-modern technology and really old knowledge. So I start with photographs of the species group fossils, as many as I can find. And, and for the legs and antenna, I, I read papers written by a paleontologist who did extraordinarily painstaking studies of the very rare fossils that show soft tissue preservation, too fragile to scrape away the rock like a normal fossil. So instead he ground away the rock in a thin layer, drew the shadow of the embedded fossil slice, and ground the rock again, drew it and ground it and drew it until he could reconstruct the positions of, of the limbs and the gills as they were embedded in the rock. So while I'm reading, I make 2D drawings on the computer that are like character studies, and the drawings become a backdrop for 3D modeling. I build the animal piece by piece, so every segment of every leg, every plate in the armor is just a separate object built from simpler objects like spheres and cubes, which I bend and twist into shape using software. When all that's done, I upload the design to a 3D printer and print it. In goes the digital design, and out comes the physical object. But for solid bronze or silver, that's a whole new level of complexity. I make the design and send it to a 3D printing company, Shapeways, where it's first 3D printed in wax on a high-resolution 3D printer. And then the wax print is cast in metal using lost wax casting, which humans have actually been doing for more than 5,000 years. They send me the physical piece of metal re resulting from the digital design. Opening that box is also always <laughs> really exciting. And then to add color, I put a patina on the shell by oxidizing it using liver of sulfur, another really old piece of knowledge. And then I assemble the whole animal by combining the prints of the legs and the shell and bending a wire for the antenna and then polishing it up. And suddenly, you're holding this animal that's been extinct for a quarter billion years and the antenna are waving and 36 legs are curled around your thumb. It's practically squirming in your hand. 